What's going on everybody? It's Eric Rayweather back here and in today's video I'm going to be breaking down how halfback screens work in Mad 19, which screens are good and which ones aren't so good and this is something that I think a lot of people aren't aware of. Uh, if this is your first time checking out one of my videos and you want to stay up to date on the best Madden 19 tips and gameplay all year long, consider hitting the subscribe button below and make sure to hit the bell icon so that you join the notification squad. So when talking about halfback screens, this has kind of been a thing for a few years now. Um, you have, obviously you have under center, you have pistol, you have, uh, you have shotgun. Now under center screens usually aren't gonna be that good because it's very hard to get the pass off before your quarterback hit. so most people run shotgun screens and we're gonna run a few here and just kind of show you what happens so shotgun screens can be good you can break a long one but in years past they used to be better as you see here I'm trying to throw the screen a lot of times when shotgun screens this year you have two th or the past few years you have two things that happens one a lot of times the running back gets caught up see here we ran three we finally got a good one to break for it, but the first two were very bad a lot of times the running back kind of gets caught up in the lineman or uh, on the defensive line he'll kind of rub up on somebody and it, and it kind of slows him down makes you have to wait to throw the ball to him and then sometimes uh, the the linemen kind of get too far ahead of the running back and allow defenders to easily come in and shoot uh, and, and get them for minimal gain. So that was out of the two back here. We'll go to gun bunch just to show a couple examples. So again here, you're going to notice a lot of the time the running back's going to kind of rub up there. Now we did get a decent uh, screen off there. We did get about 10 yards, broke a tackle, got some extra yardage. But you'll notice if we go to the replay here this is what happens a lot of times in shotgun screens watch how Kamara kind of rubs up on you see the left tackle and the defensive end are engaged and you see how he kind of rubs up on him and kind of has to like jump around them a little bit now luckily the outside was wide open so we still got a, a decent game there but that's not something you want here this is goal line so we're just gonna run, we're just gonna go down here because no one's gonna run goal line on you in the middle of the field so that's not really a good example so here back in the screen again you see Kamara Got a decent release that time, but this is the second problem that I was talking about. The blockers, a lot of times, it's just the way shotgun screens set up most of the time. The blockers kind of get too far ahead of the running back a lot of times, and watch what happens. They all run past the only defender here, and they allow him to just kind of walk in and get to the running back, and it's kind of because of just, I guess, the way that the running back is lined up on the side of the quarterback he doesn't really get behind the blockers too well so you have two problems you see here again he rubbed up on the guy we actually had a decent lane to the outside but because he rubbed up on on the uh on the left tackle there the left tackle and defensive end because he kind of got caught up and rubbed up there it delayed us getting him the ball which allowed the defender to catch him from the backside. you see again how he kind of has to hop around those guys and that slows him down just enough and then the defender is able to get him on the back side and those or, or, or the, that's the problem with a lot of shotgun screens see here we actually are going to get a decent run this time so you're not it's not going to be terrible every time you, you are going to have the ability to break one but as you can see the majority of the time again here he gets caught up again and what happened here is this is like the worst case scenario so he got caught up which made us have to wait up you know at that extra half a second to throw him the ball and watch what happens because of this so here you see he gets caught up he has to hop around so we have to wait a split second so we can get out behind his blockers QB gets hit which makes the pass bad he has to come back to the ball to catch it and he loses 10 yards or 5 yards so it was either 5 or 10 yards so that's no good so what are the best type of screens? The pistol screens. And it doesn't matter which pistol formation. We're in the Saints playbook, so the only pistol formation we have is the pistol bunch tight end. But pretty much out of any formation in pistol, this is going to be good. And the reason that these screens are better is because the running back is lined up directly behind the quarterback. Not sure why this makes a difference, but it does. You'll notice that he typically gets clean releases out of this. So you see here, out of a shotgun, we probably would have got caught by that defender there on the backside because he would have had to kind of jump and he would have got caught up and that would have slowed him down just enough to get caught but because he got a clean release and we have a decent speed guy with Kamara we were able to hit the turbo hit the edge and get a big play here on the second attempt you see we make one guy miss in the open field which is very easy to do we score a touchdown because of the alignment the running back being right behind the QB he shoots out um 
he, he never really gets caught up. It's very rare that he gets caught up and hits a lineman or have to like kind of hop around a lineman or a defensive uh, end. He usually gets a clean release. And in my opinion, he kind of shoots out a little bit faster. He, he runs up and then he shoots out and he gets perfectly behind his wall of blockers where you saw with the shotgun screens, a lot of times he ends up behind the wall of blockers and that lets defenders a lot of times come in untouched or on the backside and take them down. You see consistently here, we're getting either a decent gain or a huge gain whereas out of shotgun you saw that maybe one out of every four screens we, we were able to get a decent one if that um and you see here that was probably the worst uh, the, the worst screen of all the bunch we just ran and it was still a decent gain so if you're a guy that likes to mix in screens use them from pistol sets because while you can get a decent gain or a good gain out of a shotgun screen, it's just a lot less likely. If you're going to mix in those screens and, you know, kind of use them as like a, a low risk, high reward run play, kind of how they're used in the NFL, go to the pistol formations in your playbook and try using it from there because you're typically going to have a lot better success than if you were to use them in shotgun or under center. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it informative. If you did, as always, just drop a like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.